One of the standout moments in the standout moment-filled Karasuno vs. Inarizaki match ends in absolute heartbreak for the Karasuno players. It was a hard-fought point that both sides acknowledged needed to go their way because of how much it would make the momentum swing. For Karasuno, Hinata being able to properly execute a perfect receive from one of the nation's top aces meant that they had to ensure that it wouldn't go to waste for what it would do for their morale. For Inarizaki, they had to make sure that Karasuno didn't seize the moment because of how much they would rally in response to Hinata's encouragement and change the flow of the match. In the end, an anticlimactic instance of simple luck ended up deciding that Inarizaki would gain the point. But as everyone on Karasuno tenses up, thinks of how painful it would be to lose here and feels that sinking feeling, an innocent, joyous, beautiful exclamation from Hinata completely changes the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Common sense would dictate that Karasuno and Hinata would be overwhelmed and disappointed that they had experienced such misfortune in the middle of a rally that seemed destined to be theirs. But Hinata just doesn't operate off of traditional common sense. He is a pure volleyball idiot who feels more and more desire and hunger through incremental improvements, and his perfect technique was a huge step up for him and the team and so he saw no reason to be discouraged. Why should he? After all, he could go and do it again, and this was good news. It completely brightens up the mood for the team and changes the momentum in an unforeseen way, and the soul of this scene is obviously centered on how far Hinata has come, and yet, how little he's changed in his fiery perseverance and idealism. The core of this moment is all about how much of a monster Hinata is, and how he imbues this infectious hunger. But a more subtle and lesser discussed element of this scene is how it ended up being a pivotal moment for not one, but two of the players present here. This is often thought of as Hinata's scene, and it absolutely is. But there's more to it, and there was a simultaneous personal breakthrough happening for the onlooking Mia Osamu at this time. In my opinion, seeing someone express such unbelievable hunger for the sport, for playing and being on the court, for flying in this way, it could not have been clearer that Hinata was simply destined, through his own will and agency and hard work, but destined nonetheless to have a career in volleyball. And basically every word that Osamu says in response to understanding this alludes to his feelings about that feeling, about volleyball, about himself and his own potential path in life. Hinata is so obviously someone that, through how he lives and breathes this fire and passion for the court, will clearly become a volleyball player. He will die before he lets anything curtail his dream, and it is impossible to see him doing anything else with his life. And it's the same with Atsumu. Now of course, growing up with Atsumu helped Osamu to understand that he just didn't have that hunger for volleyball. He knew this very well, but seeing someone else in this moment who is so clearly cut from the same cloth puts it all together, makes things clear for him, and helps him direct his attention to what he does feel that towards. And I think he realized something here. <laughs> やきにくとか腹いっぱい食うて気持ち悪なって<笑> What is arguably the most important line here is about how Hinata plays volleyball like Osamu eats his food. It works on one level because there is no better way to describe Hinata in this moment than hungry. But as we come to understand through little lines here and there and through what he ended up doing with his life, Osamu is more passionate than ever about food. 
And so through seeing what Hinata feels, he realizes that he is the same way and can apply that expression to how he feels. Not about volleyball, but about food. People have all sorts of different paths in life, but one commonality among those who truly have a calling is that they often feel this intense yearning for that one specific thing. Call it a hunger, call it a passion, call it whatever you want, but clarity can come for people when they're able to cut through all the noise and nonsense and purely, intuitively understand that this, whatever this may be, is what they want to do in life. There are naturally a handful of characters in the story that this can apply to when it comes to volleyball, but there are also a few that are monsters in other ways. So, this is Hinata and Atsumu's path, and Osumu's is the food industry. I can't imagine the difficulty he must have experienced in realizing this, and if I'm correct in that this was the moment where he put it together, then that goes double for realizing it in the middle of such an important match. He would have had to think about how painful it would be to break this to Atsumu, how lonely it would feel for both of them to have to separate. But sometimes that's just how life is. And at the end of the day, it ended up being okay for both of them. Atsumu became what he was always going to become, and Osamu opened up Onigiri Mia to kickstart a career based on his true calling. And the support and bond between the two never broke or weakened. In fact, it only strengthened as they diverged, continuing to push each other on just in a different way. The journey and bond of the Mia twins is one of my favorite story elements of Haikyuu, and it's only strengthened by the way in which Osamu simply decided he couldn't keep up with Atsumu anymore. It's raw, realistic, and true to life, and more than anything, it's beautiful through the persevering love the twins clearly have for one another and how they enrich each other's lives through thick and thin and we're shown where it ended up by the story's end. But for me, the core of these later developments sprouted in the tail end of the final set of this match. Osamu was able to put together exactly what he wanted to do in life through seeing someone else exuding his feelings for a different topic. And so as much as this was Hinata's moment and an iconic turning point in the match, it was also just as important for the development of the lesser discussed, yet nonetheless beautifully written Mia twin. He may not have had that specific hunger, but that didn't mean that he didn't have hunger at all. And he was able to find himself a profession that not only satisfied that hunger of his, but ensured that he could directly support the one he cared for most as well. Many thanks for watching.